Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Digger. I'm out here today with the Simplex, and I'm going to hit this uh, lot across the street from my house that I have permission to. I've hit this many times. If you've uh, you know seen my videos and have been following me for a while, then I'm sure you've seen me dig here before. Um, it's about a half an acre, uh, maybe slightly bigger actually, and um, maybe closer to like an acre. And uh, there's a, a lot of grassy area right in front of me. And then behind me is a lot of woods, which have thinned out a lot right now. And uh, the grass is very manageable and thin since it hasn't been growing and getting colder. So um, I'm going to dig a lot of targets today. I'm going to try to get a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, it's been pretty quiet. Last time I did come here, uh, I did get a barber dime. Um, so that's good. But I'm going to try to hit it and see what we can pull out of here. Um, and then I'm going to re-hit it really hard with the legend and see what stuff I've missed. So when that machine comes in, um, I'm going to definitely come back to these areas and see. Um, very interested to see what that machine's going to do um, in these areas that are very highly trashy, um, very full of iron, and that I've hit real hard and got a lot of good targets out that have become kind of quiet. So see what happens today. Don't know what I'm going to pull out, but hopefully I pull out something to save some history. Till then, see you soon. Well, this is our first uh, decent target, so I just dug up some foil. That was the only other thing I dug, and I believe that this is part of a parasol slide where the shaft would have went through here. And, uh, and the umbrella bars that slide to the other attachment would be attached to this end, I believe. Not positive. It wasn't very deep. Um, it was given out a mid-tone in the 50s. Much like a button, like 48.52. All right, toss in the bag, keep going. Something. Got a good sounding tone right here, 79.80. Let's see what this is. Could be trash or treasure, but it sure sounds like a coin. Probably a Lincoln or um, maybe a wheat penny wheat scent but uh let's find out here or it could be something else could be that thing yeah that's probably what it was this is um an insulator with a uh light bulb attachment in here i believe yep yeah, all right well i love when they pop back out i'll uh put the plug uh back together and swing over it see if there's anything else but that copper was, uh, I think, definitely the signal we were hearing. Well, we're getting stuff out. We have a very green coin, I believe. It's probably weedy. I was coming up uh, 6566. I assume it's a wheat scent. Sure has that patina to it. But I'm not positive yet. I don't see anything on this. It is like smooth like butter. Oh, that's strange. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see Link in there, maybe. Maybe not. I have no idea. Don't even know if this is a coin. Maybe it's an Indian. Do I see a headdress there? Maybe it's an Indian. Which, if so, would be... I think the first Indian from this lot. Huh. I don't really know. I'll have to clean it up a little better and uh, see what we got here. Maybe it is a weedy. I think I see a one there from the one cent now. Yeah, I don't know. We'll clean it up and get some pictures. So I just pulled a nail out of here. I think there might be some more nails or something in there. I kept fishing around with the pinpointer. And out popped a little gear for a... Uh, pocket watch or a clock pretty sweet neat little gear that I've uh, oh I broke just now uh, and I've missed in the past I'll get the other piece out of there I see right where it went but all right throw it in the bag and keep moving see what else we get out of here just found one of these things that we all know and love not really but eh, some people do collect them and the older ones are cool. I don't think this is a very old one. Uh, shotgun head stamp, but uh, sure sounded like a button, man. Uh, I thought for sure it was going to be a button, so keep going. I'm out in this uh, wooded area now. 
it's starting to rain a little bit, which uh, I kind of knew it was going to be at some point. So I decided to come in the woods a little bit. And I got a coin. I believe it's going to be another wheat, but I mean, this is all stuff that I missed. Uh, it might be a memorial. It's pretty crusty. Let's see, there's Lincoln. Facing to the right. And we have a wheat. Uh, it might be a wheat. Let's give it a little, little rub in there. Oh yeah, it's definitely a wheat. Yep, definitely a wheat scent. If we could focus here. I don't know if we'll get a year off of it, but definitely not right now, I don't think. Uh, I think it says 1921. A little tough to tell. It's definitely crusty, but hey, second wheat. Keep swinging and see what happens. Well, we're not finding a whole lot of great stuff, but we got a pouch full of junk, so we're cleaning up the ground pretty good. And I just got a signal way down deep in this hole. I mean, it's got to be 10, 11 inches. And I pulled out this iron spoon handle, and then I put my pinpointer back in, and this signal's everywhere. And I just pulled out what I believe is the bowl, probably to that spoon handle. It's definitely, uh, definitely an iron spoon bowl. And I think there's probably, you know, a section missing. Oh, I didn't realize I was off camera a little bit. I think there's probably a section uh, missing here in the middle, if it's the same. Um, I'm going to fish around a little bit more. Who knows, this was like a dump kind of area in there might be some more targets or different stuff in there because I mean it was deep so you uh, you never know um, but there are a lot of targets in there when I'm pinpointing around so I'll fish around a little bit see if there's anything cool in here just got a signal in the ground here screaming like a 82 bouncing a little bit and I definitely see silver down here It's an SLQ. Oh my gosh, I might even be able to get a date off this. We'll have to clean it up, get some pictures, but holy cow. Oh man, it's only my second SLQ ever. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to keep uh, swinging just a couple more minutes here because it's starting to rain. So, oh, wow. Let's just turn this day right side up. Well, there it is. I've cleaned it up uh, as good as I could here. There is no date on it. I cannot get a date on it. But that's a beautiful SLQ Standing Liberty Quarter. Silver, baby. I was uh, doubting that that would happen today. All I'm getting is wheats and trash. Be nice if my camera focused a little here. But that is beautiful. Very happy to have that today. We're only going to go a couple more minutes and then uh, wrap it up. Just before I'm able to quite make it back, got another coin here. I think it's going to be another weedy. Yep, there it is right there. One cent. And, uh, see if we get a year off it. Then I'm going to recheck the hole. I do not see a year yet, but I'm going to recheck the hole, go over it with the detector again, and uh, pinpoint her if necessary, see if there's anything else. Because um, see, it sounded like it was kind of a deeper target than what it is here, but that is what it sounded like. So, um, yeah, we'll see if there's anything else in the hole, and then we'll move along. So I just got another coin. This is only about 10 feet away from the weedy, and it's coming in the 40s. Definitely looks nickel size. And, uh, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, it's just a regular Monticello Jefferson. All right, well, it could have been a V nickel or a Buffalo nickel or something older, but all right, we'll take it. See if we get any more targets on the way back over to the house. Well, that's it for today's short hunt. 
just wanted to get out a little bit before the rain and try to hit that spot to see what happens. And hey, got a silver SLQ. Can't ask for any better than that. And three Wheaties. But uh, very happy to get that silver quarter there today. And uh, we'll try to hit it when uh, I get the legend. We'll try to hit that area and see anything that I might have missed with the simplex. But till then, everybody have a wicked good day. Thanks for watching.